What's poppin' fellow nerds? Today we are showcasing round two from uh, Friday Night Locals. Uh, this is my Old Force deck versus Purple Millennium on Turbo. And I won the die roll, so I have to go first. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt, but if you have not already entered our giveaway, check the link in the description. Giving away one of these. Check it out. Alright, let's get back to the video. And I start out by doing something a little odd um, to most people, so I don't open a Vmon. Um, so rather than digivolve my Gabumon on top of my Vmon, I just play it. Um, that allows me to get board presence, and I really don't like wasting my Gabumons um, by digivolving them. I like just playing them from hand. Um, so I, do get to, I get to draw one card from the Gabumon, an additional card for turn. And I'm hoping that I'll draw into a Vmon at that point, which I do. So, works out for us. And I play my Arena. And get that little uh, jamming Vmon. He swings into my security with Tapirmon, checks a Grizzlymon. Depairmon's effect activates to draw one card on deletion. Pretty good. He plays Matt, and Matt allows him to add a purple Digimon card or purple option card from his trash to his hand, so he just picks the Depairmon back up. And Matt also uh, sets his memory to three at the beginning of his turn. And I play a Zudomon to kind of unbrick my hand and also just threaten in all force on the following turn. And he starts to climb into a mega. And he Beelzemons and uses the digivolving effect to delete my Vmon. Now, Beelzemon can delete a level 4 or lower Digimon when you Digivolve into it. And I think about this for a moment, but I don't like that Beelzemon being on the field. So I go ahead and Kakaitis Breath it back to his hand. And all of its Digivolution cards go to the trash. He swings with Tapiramon into my security, checks a Vigramon, so his Digitalma triggers and his Tapiramon triggers, so he draws two cards and discards one card from both effects. Combined. Pretty good. Um, purple, purple is kind of like blue in the, the sense that it does have a lot of draw power, but it also discards a lot of cards. Um, but you go through your deck just as much as blue does, I would say, or close to it. Then he plays a Gazimon, which is unfortunate. Um, Gazimon uh, keeps your opponent from gaining memory um, outside of Tamer effects. So like Hammer Sparks don't activate, uh, Zudomon's Inheritable effect doesn't activate. Um, so if I do have any Hammer Sparks in my hand, which I'm sure I have at least one, it's dead now. Until I get rid of that Gazimon. I go ahead and just Digivolve into my Old Force. And he does have the Trump Sword for it, well, which is fine. Um, he doesn't. I don't really um, feel threatened by his board presence because one of those is a blocker, so he's not going to swing with that. And he doesn't want to swing with the Gazimon because the Gazimon is keeping me from using my Hammer Sparks and whatnot. So basically, he has two Digimon on the field that aren't going to attack into me. So I go ahead and just Zudamon again, since I don't really feel threatened by anything. And right now he's counting his trash to see if he can Beelzemon on top of his Impmon. Uh, but he does not have enough trash, so he cannot, thankfully. Now he's just climbing into a Mega. To pass turn. Well, he finished on an ultimate. He wants to Digivolve into a Mega next turn. 
So now I'm trying to think if I can kill him this turn. Um, but I figure out that I cannot, so I just play him Matt. And I'm starting to build a pretty threatening board. I'm surprised he didn't Beelzemon there um, to get rid of one of my Vmons. But I think it's because he wanted to be able to attack. Um, and if he had Beelzemon, it would have ended his turn. So he activates the Metal Guru Mons effect to play a level 3 purple Digimon from his trash. And swings in my security for 11k. Checks a Kakaitis Breath. And I think about it for a moment, and I go ahead and just decide, yeah, I get rid of the six. He does put it on the bottom of his deck accidentally, so he had just got done with a uh, purple mirror match. So he was thinking, for some reason, it got Millennium on. Um, but it happens. But he grabs it out of the bottom of his deck, since it is supposed to go to his hand. And he plays another blocker. I'm not too happy about those blockers being on the field. I want my Vmons. To be able to swing and I I just get distracted and just completely forget to hatch my Digitama on this turn um, so most of the beginning of my turns I sit there and think if I can kill my opponent on that turn and in this one I just immediately went into thinking if I could kill him or not and completely forgot to hatch my Digitama don't do that make sure you hatch your Digitama I go ahead and go into an old force And kind of sad here because I would actually be gaining two memory on this first swing if he didn't have that Gazimon on the field. I check a Vilemon, relevant. And on this swing, I'd gain a third memory. So I'd be at three memory at this point if he didn't have that Gazimon on the field. And I'm just going to go ahead and Omnimon both of those blockers off the field and set myself up to try to game him on the following turn. And then he starts to climb. So he's playing a lot of cheap Evos um, to turbo into his Millennium on. So he goes into Metal Guru Mon again, attacks into my security, and activates Metal Guru Mon's effect to play Imp Mon from his trash. And then he checks a V Mon, so his Metal Guru Mon does live this turn. And then he Millennium Mons my Omnimon. Not a big deal. Omnimon did its job by clearing his blockers. And now comes down to can I kill him through three security with three Digimon on the field? And having. Uh, six memory to work with and if I hadn't forgot to hatch my Digitama I would have another Digimon on the field for this turn all right let's get in there swing and draw and swing and draw At this point, he's like, I'm pretty sure you have an XV in your hand, and I just show it to him. Um, but that's not what I want to do yet. Because um, I am still trying to play around Trump Sword, just in case. So I go ahead and just Digivolve into my Vigimon, and he also has jamming, so I swing with him. No Trump Sword, and then reveal XV Mon for game. So I take game one. He chooses to go second for game two, which uh, you guys obviously know I prefer going second no matter what, but in blue, going first isn't even really a big deal because you draw so many cards. I'm still going to go second if I have the choice, but if my opponent makes me go first, 
it's not even a bad thing. Because I get to do this. Just such a good 1-2 combo. Digivolve into Vemon and then play Gabumon. So in the following turn, you have two bodies on the field. And he plays his Gazimon on his first turn. All right, let's get in there. Swing with jamming. I digivolve into my blocker. And I'm not really worried about him being able to swing into my Vmon, so I go ahead and just play my arena. And unfortunately I do miss. Um, does happen occasionally, but it's not a big deal. Those are cards that I didn't really want to draw anyway, so. And he tries to swing into my Vmon, and I do block that. And then he swings over to my Vmon, so he does get to kill it. And Digivolves into Lady Devimon, which... Um, so her effect is trigger draw two and then discard two cards from your hand. So you draw one card for the Digivolve and then two cards from her effect and then discard two cards. Um, pretty good card. Uh, whenever I build purple, she's probably going to be a four of. Um, just because she lets you cycle through your deck so much. I just go ahead and play a mat. I do not have a rookie in my hand, sadly. Not a huge deal, though. I do have Hammer Spark starting to clog my hand, though. That's not good since he has a Gazumon sitting on the field. And there's his Vanilla Mega. Uh, that's a card he uses to turbo into Millennium on, because it's only cost uh, two to Digivolve. And he checks a Arena. So we get to just activate that and miss again. Not too big of a deal though. Getting it on the field is more beneficial than the search. And he plays a Tapiramon, um, since I'm gonna go to three anyway. And I finally draw into a rookie. And it is Kakaitis' Mega back to his hand just to get rid of it. It's better for me if he doesn't get the Millennium on on the field. Um, and also, I just don't want him swinging my security with that Mega. Then he starts turboing back up into something. It goes into Metal Guru Mon. And he doesn't have any blockers on the field, which is very cool. It means I can swing in with my Vmons. So I go ahead and swing. And unfortunately, do check a Trump Sword and Security, which gets to blow up my blocker. Big sad, big sad. I do not have another blocker. I go ahead and play the Gabumon and then suspend Matt to trash the bottom Digivolution card of the Metal Guru Mon. And then I Digivolve an X Vmon to unsuspend my Vmon so you can't swing into it. And he swings in my security with Tapirmon. Checks an arrow and dies, but he does get to draw a card off the effect. Pretty good body to just throw at your opponent. Um, probably three or four of a five or build uh, purple. He swings with Metal Gurumon and activates the effect to play a Tapirmon back from the trash. Seems good. The only thing I don't like about Metal Gurumon is you have to swing in order to activate its effects, and stuff like this can happen. He checks an Omnimon and the Metal Gurumon dies. <laughs> And 
And he just drops an Impmon to make it my turn. He still doesn't have any blockers. And now he's going to be able to kill me on his turn, most likely. So now I need to figure out how to kill him on my turn. Then start off by swinging with our Vmon. I do hit a mat, which lets him put Trump Sword back in his hand. Seems good. And I swing with X Beamon, and in order to hope that it lives, I bump it up to two. I bump it up two K from the arenas to go to six K. But I do check a Lady Devimon, and that pretty much seals it up. And there's not much I can do to survive the turn. I don't have a blocker in my hand uh, to keep him from killing me on his turn. So I just play a Zudamon and pray. Pray for the best. He swings with Demi Devi, checks an old force, doesn't really matter. Then swings with Marimon, checks Grizzlymon, and then swings for game with Entmon. So he does take game two. And I had three Hammer Sparks in my hand at that point, which were all just dead bricks because of the Gazumon sitting on the field. If he hadn't had the Gazumon on the field, I actually would have been able to for sure kill him on my turn uh, with the Hammer Sparks, but... Sometimes it'd be like that. Um, I do choose to go second for game three, because I do love that draw. And I don't want to do this, but I do Digivolve the Gabumon and then play the Rena. Because I wanted to do both on my turn, so I have to, in order to not pass turn by playing one of them, I have to Digivolve the Gabumon. It's not terrible, I just prefer not to Digivolve my Gabumon on my Digitom if I can help it. And he digivolves into Lady Devimon and gets to activate that very good effect again. And it puts me at one. And now, so I just feel it in my bones that he has Beelzemon in his hand. I don't know why, but that is why I do what I do here and for the rest of the early game. So I swing with this Gabumon, which I would never do otherwise because it does not have jamming. Like, it's guaranteed going to die. But I know if I leave it on the field and he has Beelzemon, it just gets blown up for free. So I just swing in. And then I play a Zudomon because Beelzemon cannot blow up a level 5 Digimon. And it turns out he actually does have a Beelzemon um, on the left side of his hand in this game. I don't know, man. I just felt it in my bones. Um, so I just decided to play around him having Beelzemon in his hand. It influences some of my decisions. He Trump Swords the Zudamon, that's fine with me. I pay seven to play it, he pays seven to get rid of it, but I drew two cards. So I go ahead and just play a mat. Now I have a memory setter on my field. And he drops his second Lady Devimon. See, lots of draw power in purple. More than you think there is, for sure. If it's built right. Alright, so now I swing. Check a Beelzebub on security. And I'm still playing around him having Beelzebub in his hand. So, like, I'm not going to leave a level 3 or level 4 on the field if I can help it. So I do Digivolve and XVmon. Activates effect on Suspend itself. 
and then digivolve into an arrow V. Um, so he's already activated one trump sword, so most likely doesn't have a second one in his hand, and also he cannot Beelzemon because it's a level 5. And on my turn, I'm going to have 3 memory because I have a memory setter, and if I have an ult force in my hand, I get to ult force him and just start wamboing. Look how many cards I have in my hand. Blue is so stupid with the draw power. Alright. Let's see if I can kill him. That's what I think at the beginning of every turn with Ult Force. Can I kill my opponent? I'm thinking about it. And I go ahead and start off by playing the Ult Force, of course. And swing, activate Rena, suspend itself to give it a thousand. And then all force unsuspend itself. I gain a memory, I gain jamming, and I draw a card because I'm attacking with jamming. And hopefully it's not a trump sword. Not a trump sword. And then I swing again. And sadly, I did not draw any the Hammer Sparks to extend that Wombo, but I go ahead and just Omnimon his Metal Guru Mon. And now I'm sitting pretty. Um, I should be able to kill him on the following turn, depending on what he does, or what he's able to do. Lots of cards in my hand. He goes into Piedmon. And then Piedmon has Retaliation, so he just crashes into my Omnimon to kill it with Retaliation. And that's the, the best thing he can do to get rid of my Omnimon, is invest into a Mega and then ram into my Omnimon. And that's me showing XVM onto the camera. Um, unless he plays a blocker, that's auto game. Because I can just swing with Vmon and then XVMon. But he does have a, a blocker, unfortunately. So it's it's not auto game anymore. So I think about it for a moment, realize that I cannot kill him, so I just set up bodies on the field. And I do suspend Matt to trash the bottom Digivolution card just because I can. And then I'm at two, so I just Just play my Gabumon put him to one and now I have three bodies on the field and he only has one blocker and one security so I'm sitting pretty for the next turn and I still have five security I'm applying a lot of pressure on him he plays another blocker and puts me to four memory which is quite a bit of memory to give uh, all for us Alright, so I start off by swinging with my jamming Vmon that has Demi Vmon underneath it so I can draw a card. I'm assuming he's going to block it, which he does. And then I digivolve my Gabumon into Vigimon, uh, which has jamming. And then I'm hoping to bait him into letting this, this attack go through because... His win condition or his not lose condition is Trump Force and Security. So I swing, and he thinks about it for a moment, and he does decide to let it go through and see if he has Trump Force or Trump Sword. No Trump Sword. And he does not have a Gazamon on the field, which is pretty cool, so I can hammer spark here. I have another one in my hand, but I don't need to do it. 
And then I Digivolve, Arrow, and Unsuspend uh, Vmon, and then he just, he lets the Arrow uh, attack go through to die. So I do take game three, and I take down the match 2-1. But I do appreciate you guys stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're into seeing this kind of content and want to see more. Until next time, see ya.